What's going on guys, Fritz here, and uh, this is my 3K tutorial, well it's not really for 3K, it's, I was playing some kit anyway, but it's a special one however, and um, basically what it is, it's the loading screen transition there, so you can see it, it's kind of cool, it says loading underpass, it's kind of hard to tell because there's the CC there, but um, it kind of goes all TV effect, and there's like a grid, and then it just goes whoosh, and that's it, so... This is kind of like there's two parts to this. There's uh, the transition below and then the overlay, which is all made in After Effects. There's no other weird stuff. So we are going to start off by looking up linear wipe in our effects and presets, and it should be under transition. Put it on your top clip. You're going to keyframe it at zero, sort of at the beginning, then go over a little bit, not too far, and then bring the uh, transition complete up to 100. And because I like mine coming in from the right to the left, I'm going to change the wipe angle to 270. So there we go that's that's that part that's down it's easy now we're gonna make an adjustment there so hit new so adjustment there and what we want to do is actually make a uh, for that like red beam that kind of comes from underneath it we have to look up CC light sweep and it's under the generate tab so don't take the one under transition take the one under generate and we get this beam here change the direction to zero and you see it kind of goes upright uh, we'll change the color to kind of like a reddish thing um, then just kind of bring like the edge intensity up if you want. That's like the lines on the top. Uh, edge thickness is kind of they just like it. There's the sweep intensity. That's what makes it like big. Uh, the width. So there we go. So you can see my numbers like 100, 117. Just kind of make them all a little bit bigger. There's not really a preference to that. And now we're gonna keyframe our center and everything. So we're gonna go back to right before the uh, transition starts. So that would be right here. See, we don't see anything, and we're going to bring the center completely off the chart. We don't even want to see it now. And we're going to hit U on our keyboard so we can see our keyframes. You have to keyframe, center, hit U on your keyboard. Then go over one frame. You can see the transition starts. So put the uh, center. You see you got this little X. Kind of match it up if you can. Then go over, just kind of, you know, chill. And then see there, right before it, it finishes the transition, we're going to bring the center over again, so this way, this time, and then it's going to be completed, and we don't even want to see it anymore, so bye bye And uh, that's it, so you see the red thing should follow the line, if not, just, you know, kind of keyframe it as you go. Um, if you want to easy ease it, it makes it look a little nicer, just hit U on both of them, and then just highlight them all, and then hit keyframe assistant, easy ease. It does work still. It does kind of track it. Uh, it does look at, get a little dodgy at this ends, but it's okay. It goes pretty fast. You can't even really tell. So that's that part. That's just a simple red beam. Now we are going to make the solid that goes on top of it. So we are going to make a new composition completely, and we are going to name it Overlay Loading Screen Shenanigans. Okay, and um, everything else is good. So then we got this thing. We're going to start off by making a solid. So new, solid. And we want to make it like a gray. So like 127. Right here. You see how it's 127, 127, 127. So right in the middle. Okay. Boom. We got our gray. And um, now we, we can just add some text. So just up, up here. Click on the text tool. Type in loading. Uh, whatever map. Map. And then just we'll scale it down and make it so it fits. What the heck? There we go. Just make it so it fits. So it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, but it's preferred. Uh, you can get it perfectly. You just click over here and put on title action safe, or you can just put on the grid, whichever works. So there we go. That that's in the middle. Uh, some cool font. I like Bank Gothic. Uh, B A N K right there that's a cool font and we'll put it there right in the middle there we go okay so we'll turn off our title action safe by clicking that and um, one of the things you can do is add a grid so you can make a new solid as well um, this one doesn't even matter what color and we are going to look up grid and it should be under generate right here put that on and um, what we want to do is get rid of like we just want it to be like on the going like up and down or side to side we don't really want it on both so what we can do is change this uh, width and height slider sliders and see here we can mess with it that way so if we want to make it so it's uh, like 
just going up and down we'll just change our height so it's really high or vice versa if we want it so we just want the lines going sideways change the width so we'll make our ours going up and down so we're going to change this height so it's really high like 1430 and uh, we can change this anchor too so we'll move it up like that and uh, we ch will change the width down a little bit. So right around, we'll go with 15. So 15 is good. Uh, cl click on your thing, like your solid that where you made where the grid is. Um, or you can just use opacity up here. And we'll make it to like 25. So that way it's not very prep, like insane. It's not huge. Um, now we are going to make an adjustment layer. And I don't know if this works in your After Effects, but it worked in mine. I just typed in TV effect, and I got these options here. So I got, like, Warp, which is the one I'm probably going to use. And you can see how it kind of makes it so it, uh, it, like, it, I don't know, it just adds, like, an old TV effect. So, uh, it does kind of, like, get weird up at the top. So I just, uh, scaled in the whole thing, but I did that in the later, you'll see. And I just added that effect on, um, you know, you can do this stuff or you can just, like, you know, do what I did and look for a TV preset. But that's what I did, and um, it seemed to work out just fine for me. Um, you can really make the grid a little bit more prevalent, like that. And that's pretty much it. We'll just go back to our uh, thing here. And we are going to put our overlay loading screen shenaniganiana put that on and you see here we got this weird thing going on so what we will do is change our mode to add and it kind of lightens it up or maybe not add overlay overlay works it really doesn't matter you kind of got to choose one uh, screen might work no screen no not not feeling it We'll, just, we'll go with overlay and we'll just copy copy it a couple times so um just have your layer selected hit control C and then V hit it a couple times so there we go now we can see it and um, we're, going, we're going to get rid of so select all of them so just hit the top one hit shift go down select all of them go to before where we need it so we don't even need to see it right here because nothing's happened hit alt and bracket and go over here to where the other side where we don't even need to see it hit alt and bracket and now because we want to do everything at the same time um, we are going to hit S on our keyboard and change our scale up so that way we don't see that bending thing up at the top so there we go that seems to be good or maybe a little bit more I don't know we can change our text and everything later I'll show you that too and um, there we go we got our overlay so we want to make it fade in and allow for this sweep thing to go behind it so we are going to hit all, select all of them again so hit the top one hit shift go down hit T on our on your keyboard change the opacity down to zero uh, keyframe it go to like the just in front of it a little bit kind of where the red thing starts put it up at 100 go over to where the red thing's about to go away so like right around there and hit this little diamond over here then go over to where it's gone and keyframe it down to zero so that's the basics of the transition right there it's pretty straightforward um, if we want like let's say we think the text is too big we can just go back to the composition over here Go to our text and we can like hit scale and make it smaller so like that and magically it does that over here too so now the text is smaller and it's kind of like nicer so you can mess with that and um i don't know that's kind of cool uh some of the other stuff you can do to make it kind of different is um make a new adjustment there and we will rename this uh screen effect except for I didn't hit the thing so we'll name it screen effect and what we want to do is bring this down here and then we just can add some more effects to it pretty much so um, you're gonna want to have it underneath your uh, wishy red thing so put it at the, like underneath the the top one where we made the red light beam and uh, so there we go set it up like that and then some of the other effects that are kind of cool is levels and uh, that we, it will add like a bluish tone so change the channel to blue and then you can like, just sort of make it a little bit bluish like that um, another one is turbulent displacement and we'll put that on our adjustment layer as well 
and um, we'll just leave it the way it is. It's good. Uh, one thing that I did was I put that uh, RGB split. So what we want to do for that is uh, have magic bullet looks. Put that on. We're going to edit this. And um, it's pretty straightforward. Just go to tools. Go to chromatic, aberration, and uh, change your green to like, like 4 and your blue to like 4. Not 400. Jesus Christ, for it's a four, not six hundred four, four. Okay, there we go. So that adds like a nice little thing. Just hit finished, and it kind of adds that more effect. So that's it. Um, there is other stuff you can do, uh, but this is that like this is the uh, utmost basic of the transition. So if it was confusing, just go back and like I don't know, make this full screen in seven twenty, and you can look at it that way. So um, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks a lot for three K. I am Fritz and I'm out. See ya.